The Arizona Republican sent that messaging through an email to voters on his official House of Representatives account. Team 12 political insider Bram Resnick here now with reaction to Gosar's latest post and whether or not he'll face any consequences. Bram? Yeah, Congressman Gosar linked to a website called Veterans Today that has a well-documented reputation as home for anti-Semites, Holocaust deniers, and some Hitler fans. The headline is ugly. The story praising Republican Congressman Paul Gosar for attacking, quote, Jewish warmongers. Gosar linked to the story on Sunday in his The Week with Gosar update on his House of Representatives email account. Paul Gosar has continually showed us by his action that he is not a friend of the Jewish community of Arizona. Paul Rockower is executive director of the Valley's Jewish Community Relations Council. This is not the first time Congressman Paul Gosar has been linked to anti-Semites, white nationalists, white supremacists, Holocaust deniers. Frankly, this has been his continual behavior for a long time, and we're just tired of it. Gosar's political consultant provided this statement. We use a third-party aggregating service for our headlines. We will not be using this website as a reference for any future articles. Congressman Gosar is well known as one of the top advocates of the state of Israel and a defender of those of the Jewish faith across the world. Two years ago, Gosar was censured by the House for posting a violent video targeting Democratic Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and President Joe Biden. When we incite violence with depictions against our colleagues, that trickles down into violence in this country. But the far-right firebrand has never been punished by Arizona voters. No, I take this two years of time. Am I a valuable service? Do I get stuff done? You know, do I listen to the people of Arizona? And Gosar shows no signs of backing down, despite an obvious health issue that he hasn't disclosed. In Phoenix, Bram Resnick, 12 News.